Hey you. Yeah you. Do you play Bubba? Do you hate getting bullied by those pesky victims? Are you tired of Leland's triple stunning you with their ability and two bone shards duller than a butter knife? If the answer is yes, yes, and yes, then this is the video for you, my friend. Hello everybody, my name is James Games and welcome back to another video in the How to Slay Family series. Today we'll be looking at the big boy poster child of the game, Leatherface, or Bubba or Booba. Like in the last video on Cook, which I highly recommend watching if you haven't, I'll leave a card at the top right corner right now as well as a link in the description. We're going to be going over a build which, in my opinion, is the the strongest build to use on Leatherface. Remember that everything I go over in this video are my opinions and views on how to play. If you have a build and have a playstyle that that you think is best and what works for you, use it. And if you like, feel free to share your builds in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys are rocking. All right, so the first thing we're going to be looking at is the skill tree. So let's take a look here. I have it nice and zoomed out for you guys so you guys can follow the path. But the three perks that we're going to want to be looking at, which is what you are going to want to run for this build, uh, you're going to want to run Scout. What Scout does is it increases your movement speed by 5, 10, 15 percent in their respective levels, but your melee damage is reduced by 10 percent. Now you may think that this is going to be kind of kind of counter productive for Leatherface, but just wait. You guys are going to see we're going to be able to this build is going to be able to basically negate that percentage. You're going to see why. So obviously you're going to want to go this way. Obviously, you know, you guys can see it. Take a look through here. That's the first one you are going to get want to get. Excuse me. The next one you're going to want to get is Surgical. You receive 100% more blood when attacking victims, 20 and 60 on the lower levels. This is going to be very important for the third perk, which unfortunately you are going to have to get this by random. Okay, so like as you guys know, as you go through skill trees, you have these things called random perks, right? Awards a random perk. If you do not get this through this skill tree, you are going to have to respec and take the same path and just hope that you get it. I got it right here, which is the third perk that we're going to be going over, which is called Vial Ents. What it does is your damage is increased by 20% when carrying a full blood vial. So as you guys know, when you're playing Bubba, you're really not supposed to be feeding Grandpa, if at all. It's just not your job. He's the least efficient at doing blood collecting. I don't ever feed Grandpa. So this build really works with my play style because I never go and visit him. I don't care about him when I play Leatherface. I am made to kill and chase down the victims and put pressure on them as much as possible. That is your job as Leatherface. Now remember, when we looked at this, you get increased movement speed, but your damage is reduced. This will completely negate it, pretty much. So say it's reduced, I have 10%. We're getting an extra 10% of damage, so it's completely negating Scout. Very important. But like I said, remember that it is, you're not, it's not going to be in the skill tree, Violent. You are going to have to get it in a random slot. You know, the things, the things like these. You obviously want to, like I said, I'm going to zoom back out so you guys can see, because I, I like, I like allowing you guys to see the whole skill tree, go back through until you get it. And then you have the two other perks and then you'll be good to go. All right. So we went over the skill tree and the perks you need, obviously right here, scout, surgical, violence. The next thing we're going to be looking at is the chainsaw. Now this is the best chainsaw build that I have used. Uh, that I've used quite a few. I tried going left, center, up, but going this way, this way, and this way is hands down the best. Basically, you're going to be able to get a kill no matter what. If you can get a heavy charge and they're nowhere near a crack, you're going to be able to insta kill them even if they, even if they survived the first hit. So you're going to want to go up to the right. Level one reduces the overheat cooldown time before you can restart the chainsaw by 50%. This is just a great, uh, just, just a great thing to just have on your chainsaw and it really goes well to build um level two your chainsaw can be used 20 percent more often when stalling now it can be a little bit confusing by what this means at least it did for me so basically if you can do this perfectly right you can do a heavy attack and not have your chainsaw stall now if your chainsaw is at base and it gets to red and you try and do a heavy swing it is going to stall no matter what but with these two here, if you can time it just right, it will not stall and you can start attacking almost immediately after hitting a survivor when they're stunned by the animation with the heavy attack, leading you to where if you didn't get the insta kill, you're gonna get it with two more hits, guaranteed, except for probably Ana with her ability. And then finally, level three starts the chainsaw instantly. This is literally a no brainer. Like the other two might be good. You might think they're good. They're not. Starting the chainsaw instantly and putting pressure on the survivors as fast as possible is crucial to being a Leatherface. Like when you play Leatherface, the survivors are starting to learn to move much faster, so you have to maintain speed with them. You know, you have these two things to like try and help you out, and then once it's back, you can instantly turn it back on and get back into the game. So it's very important. Instant activation can get you on those survivors, start breaking doors in the basement, uh, you know, crawl spaces, you know, the little shutters everything like that. You want to get on them as quick as possible. All right, uh, we'll look at the grandpa ability. Again, this is totally up to you. Uh, sometimes I personally run Nobody Escapes Hell. It really just depends on your play style. 
this can be pretty helpful especially with connies and stuff you know it can make it a little bit more difficult for the survivors you can run whatever you want whatever you want it really depends on the map for me personally i kind of end like how i feel so these are the perks you're gonna get use whatever you want i use nobody escapes hell because people get out of the basement way too quick all right so now we are here so let's take a look at all this here first things you're obviously going to want to invest in so you're gonna have 27 attribute points with this build so this is gonna be quite important the first thing you're obviously gonna want to max out is your endurance and your savagery because your blood harvesting means absolutely nothing you're, so you put 15 into your endurance you put 10 into savagery then you just put the last two into blood harvesting you can not put them in there to try and get your blood vial up quicker so you can increase your percentage I just put it in there just because if, if I wanted to, I could take it out, but I might as well use it for something, right? Because survivors are starting to get much better. So you're going to want to, you're going to want to pretty much not feed grandpa, especially since that survivors do have a perk that can instantly take grandpa back from level four to zero, or say you have a level five grandpa, one stab with a bone shard will take him back to level one or zero, which really sucks. So grandpa's starting to get pretty useless as the survivors catch on to that. So just something to keep in mind. All right. So we went through over the skill tree, went over the build, the whole loadout. Now, all we gotta do is go kill some people. I'm gonna hop into a game and I'll see you guys there. All right, everybody. So we do have problems with this one, which is quite interesting. All right, so this is gas station. Very rough, very rough start. Someone's already ran down here. He uses a build on me, that's great. He's on cooldown. He is going to bone stab me, unfortunately, but that's great. He's, he's wasting all of his resources. That's totally fine by me. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. I'm gonna drop chase with him. Look for other people. Don't really care to or worry too much about the Leland. Break this. Not a big deal. We'll get him eventually. I already got a door open. Hopefully I don't get the bug. I probably am going to get the bug. Yep, I got the bug. That's something else you kind of want to worry about. There is a bug going on where if you do rip a chainsaw, you will... Yeah. I'm not going to worry about Leland. Leland's just going to do Leland things. All right, so here we go. This is where it's going to happen. See? All right, got... Uh, Ana. Yeah, Ana. So see that? You did a hit. Charge your chainsaw as quick as you can. Two swings. Insta-kill. Even with an Ana. She probably didn't activate her ability, but still, that's what you want to do. You want that done as quick as possible. All right, they got the ladder open. I'm going to come upstairs to help you guys. I just found one that was by the barn. That's by the front. All right, coming. Use your voice comms. Always talk to your teammates. Remember, you can't win if you don't. You're going to take the well. I'm gonna break this to help our team out. And we're trying to help the team as much as possible. I am gonna break this over here too. This thing is always a static spawn from what I know, so just break it as early as you can. We already got a kill, so that's a lot of pressure off. The Connie is the one person we have to worry about. Another tip, keep an eye on your points, especially the uh, survivor's points. That could be very important. All right, so we have max blood. Our damage is super powerful. All right, so they went in there. I got founder. Saw some blood, so they went around over here. I see Leland over here. I got Leland, he's dead. See, I told you, don't worry about Leland's. They double stun you, it doesn't matter. That was an insta-kill, guys. Insta-kill. Don't give blood to Grandpa. Super easy, super easy. That dude didn't expect me to come back downstairs. Got him. Another tip, which is very hard. I know I have a trouble with it, too. Don't ever get tilted. Don't ever get tilted when you are playing Bubba and getting multi-stunned. You're going to have your good games and you have your bad games. Trust me. You're going to have your good games and bad games. Best thing you can do is just learn from your mistakes and get better that way. As Bubba, I'm going to check these locks because I'm the fastest one. Padlocks are still good. Yeah, yeah, padlocks are still good. I'm uh, working my way to check the back. 
I'm uh, just checking the exits a little bit. Anyone know where uh, Fuse Box is? Is it in the house? Yeah, uh, it's uh, outside that main shed. Ah, uh, okay, the middle middle building. Look, so, uh, Connie's here. Oh, got Connie too. Let's go. No insta lock breaks for you. Got <laughs> um, Joey. I got Joey. All right, I'm killing. Brett. See, look at that. Oh, you always got to keep an eye, too. Keep an eye out for that ginger hair. Biggest hit. <laughs> GG's, boys. Fast game. Let's go. GG. Holy shit. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. <laughs> GG's. Killed him with kindness. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Have a good after that. I got nothing. GG, though. GG's, everybody. All right, this time we got a match on Slaughterhouse. Probably the strongest survivor map in the game, hands down. I already see a Connie, and they're already getting bone shards, so they're getting ready to fight back. Always keep an eye on those. If people are going to play aggressive, you have to play aggressive. Breaking this instantly, so it gives them another, a less opportunity. I already see one of the pumps there, the valve pump. See that right there? Good idea to keep an eye on. I'm also going to break this door here. A lot of people love using this door to bully people, like Bubba's and stuff. I'm just not going to allow it. Leland already used his ability on me. But it's totally fine. We're just going to keep moving on. Keep trucking, trucking along here. Remember, don't get tilted by it. It is what it is. Alright, here we go. Here we go. He is really injured. One more hit will kill him. Let's see where he's going. He's really low. There he is right there. Gonna get another hit on him. And there you go, he's dead. Instantly. Probably shouldn't have chased him as much as I should have, but like I said, you know. Getting him out, it means a lot. Play smart, memorize the maps as Bubba. You know? Don't let those bullies treat you like that. You know what I mean? Don't let survivors bully you like that. Looks like they already, they already got the ladder thing open, so they're upstairs somewhere. On the head up top. Yeah, they've also got the uh, main button. A triple track generator, like. Oh, they're in here, they're in here. I got the Ana, she's dead. They're working for front exit, nice. they got the lock open. I don't know if Connie's around here though. I'm gonna go check. Oh yeah, I triple trap that. They make motion, they want generator, back gate, and both doors at all times. Wow, they already yeah, unlocked both these doors. Alright, we have to check this front. I'm gonna check the front. I always check this door oh, here first. Somebody, uh... This has still got a lock on it. A girl in front just went out one of the big yeah. All my traps are still intact, so they're not out here. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Somebody's running back and I've always got the big area. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, God, I thought she was super. <laughs> they don't have to use the edit, though. Oh, they got the back exit open. But yeah, they opened the fuse gate and then ran over here. Oh yeah, I'm making noise out. They're... I don't know where they're out that fast. Oh, wait, they're there. Yeah, they're both here. Nothing you can do. GG's. Ah. Alright, so we got ourselves a slaughterhouse map. Already making noise, which is... You love to ah. see it, right? And it's because they're getting bone shards. I'm going to go upstairs early. If they're going to rush that, I got to make upstairs better for my team. Something I always remember. If they're that quick, you got to be even quicker. Oh, 
There's just no point for you to chase people in the basement if they're gonna rush outside that quick. So, break stuff, make it easier for your team, help them out. I'm gonna take a quick sweep over here. See if anyone's coming out this way. I think we're good. Like anything that you can as Bubba, it helps your team tremendously when they do chase them. this all right now it's time to look for these people i see a uh, connie So that's no instant lock breaks anymore. Always be patient with your things. When you see someone trying to do that, be as patient as possible. Break this part of the team out. Gotta check refuses. I'm gonna try and help you. Come and cook, come and cook. I got her. See, great teamwork. Always be quick. Gotta be Jack, be nimble. Gotta be Jack, be quick. So that's two dead already. Super fast. And again, we got our blood completely filled, which is super awesome. We gotta go check front, just in case. Bad lock, still good. Both the teams are over there, so I'm gonna stay over here. Also, try and be split out with your team. A lot of people like being close. You don't want to be close. See both the teammates over there. Break this, because this is a very annoying crack that survivors love using. It's a hiding spot, and it's a crack. Two of my least favorite things in the world. I'm gonna go check the pump real quick. Getting a bone shard. I'm break this door just so they can't use it against us because the exit's right there. You know. I think they're trying to get the middle thing done because there's a valve on it. Oh, yep, Leland's here. Yeah, they're they're trying to camp middle. He went through the crack. He went through that crack, the checker. Yep, he's over here on me. Wait it, wait it, wait out. Didn't get the hit, unfortunately, but it's fine. Our ability allows us. He's over here, over here. I got a hit on him. He's right there. Ah, nice to you. He's camping this thing, I can't get to him. He hit me again. Oh my god. 
Yeah, he's just camping us. Whenever you guys get time, I could do some help. I'll camp there. He used his ability on me. He's running. Stop it, so you can go. Oh, I don't think it's okay. The Leland's right here. On me, you guys. He went back through the crack. Only one got the escape from the valve exit, which isn't too bad. For Slaughterhouse, that's honestly not bad at all. All right, everybody, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys, everybody, so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Try the build out. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And uh, again, share what builds that you guys use. I always love seeing what other people use and what their play styles are. That's what makes this game a lot of fun. And I love seeing how other people play and how they perform and stuff. It's really cool. Anyways, you guys stay safe, stay awesome. As always, stay cool. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. Hey,